let's go continue formation of metamorphic rocks so you will be able to state and explain the formation and characteristics of metamorphic rocks marble and slate you're going to talk about two rocks here marble and slate okay so let's get to that metamorphic rocks are formed when rocks are exposed to high temperature and pressure okay so let's say you've got one igneous rock or you've got a sedimentary rock if you put high heat and pressure to it it changes into a new rock called metamorphic so this is also a secondary rock it's not a primary rock metamorphic rocks are formed when rocks are exposed to high temperature and pressure okay so it's a secondary rock it's not a primary rock only igneous rocks are primary it's a secondary rock um, even sedimentary rocks are secondary rocks because it's formed from other rocks so you know second secondary rocks now metamorphic rocks um, are formed by metamorphosis not from sediments but from metamorphosis as i told you it is the change in rock let's go let's take a look at some metamorphic rock examples metamorphic rocks come from existing rocks that are subjected to extreme heat and pressure this heat and pressure changes the original structure into a new type of rock sedimentary igneous and even metamorphic rocks can all become metamorphic rocks when exposed to heat and pressure the original rock is the protolith but is commonly referred to as the parent rock metamorphic rocks can form deep in the earth's crust or at areas of plate tectonic movement two major types of metamorphic rocks are foliated rocks which have crystals in stripes and non-foliated which do not have crystals in stripes so let's take a look at some common metamorphic rocks slate it has very very small minerals it is considered foliated and its parent rock is shell marble has fine to medium crystals its parent rock is limestone and it's considered non-foliated quartzite are, is a non-foliated metamorphic rock and its parent rock is sandstone nice is a foliated rock and its parent rock is schist and finally schist is a foliated metamorphic rock and its parent rock is slate here we have rocks are changed as a result of exposure to intense heat and pressure so you have the first one you have contact metamorphism and the other one is called regional metamorphism okay contact metamorphism is when magma comes into contact with some of some rock let's say i've got my phone here is a rock called um, sandstone or let me call it limestone okay so this is limestone and uh, so what do you mean by foliated foliated is the banding structure you know like uh, how the uh, it will form these layers with the wavy layer that is foliated okay you don't need to worry about it just just listen to me now and you will understand the formation and that's very important so here we have the magma so i, I said that this phone uh, is um uh, limestone right i said limestone yes so if this is limestone and magma comes in contact with it you know i told you that you know there is near volcanoes and all magma comes through remember the um uh sill that we talked about and what was the other one dike d-i-k-e so when when the when the magma pushes through and it comes vertically up so now the rock is touching the magma so the heat of the magma is going to change this rock into marble so so the limestone will become marble okay so that's a very important example you need to keep in mind limestone changes into marble and that is because of heat if it is due to heat we call it contact metamorphism okay so near volcanoes and near there is and you, know, you know the vent right you see in the picture you have the hole like a whole tube like thing so on the sides of the tube that's contact metamorphism just above the magma chamber again it could have been an igneous rock it could have been a sedimentary rock it will now change into metamorphic again due to the heat so it's due to the contact with the magma we call it contact metamorphism regional metamorphism is in a region in a place region means a particular place and this is mainly um, when you have due to pressure now uh, in chapter six i'll be teaching you about something called plate boundaries okay so 
you know, the I told you that the Earth's uh, outermost layer, the shell, is like the eggshell, it's very thin, but it has many pieces. And these pieces are actually moving because of the magma. You know, it's they're sort of floating on the magma. So when they are like two of them pushing towards each other, yeah, the pressure increases. And this is co what causes regional metamorphism. The pressure, the intense pressure. Again, if that rock over there was limestone, it turns into, you're right, marble, right? <laughs> so limestone always turns into marble, okay? Um, now, um, the rock called shale turns into slate. So that's examples that you've got to keep in mind. So these are um, rocks changed as an exposure to intense heat and pressure. Okay, so here we have shale rock and you can see it's got um, almost the, you know, the, the picture of uh, leaves. Yeah, I have a rock or something like this here. So this leaves, it's called a fern. Okay, that plant is called a fern. So that, that leaves is a fossil. So you can see fossils inside shale because it's a sedimentary rock. But once that shale becomes slate, you can see the rock has completely changed. Okay, the chemical elements could be the same, but it's being cooked under pressure or under heat. So it's being changed and recrystallized. So if there is a fossil, it gets completely gone, but it doesn't melt. If it melts, it becomes magma again, right? So it's not melted now. It's just, uh, yeah, recrystallized. Next, you have uh, these two rocks, limestone and marble. Limestone is sedimentary, marble is metamorphic. These are again minerals which are recrystallized because of the heat and pressure and limestone will gradually become marble. Okay, it could be in regions where the two plates are pushing into each other, where the pressure is so high, we call it regional metamorphism. But also it could be in places where uh, you have contact metamorphism, the heat can cause the rocks to, um, you know, uh, change yeah, and recrystallize. Okay, so sandstone can become quartzite, okay, um, just as an example. And sandstone uh, or these sedimentary rocks can be, sorry, metamorphic rocks can be made into so many different things uh, and useful. They're just like granite. It looks something similar to granite, isn't it? Uh, you, you, you asked me what's foliated. Do you see those lines there? All those, you know, wavy lines? That is the foliated structure. It just shows the banding and those banding is because of different minerals. As I said, the black one could be one mineral, the white one could be quartz, the black could be feldspar, mica, different, different minerals, different colors. Okay, so here we have um, the graveyard where you have the tombstones made of marble. It can be made of granite or basalt or whatever, but you can see here it's white marble. Uh, then you have the, the, the furniture, the table made of marble, the flooring. Uh, the sculpture, all made of marble. And this uh, amazing monument uh, is called Taj Mahal. I'm sure you identified it. It's the seventh wonder of the world. It's in India, uh, closer to New Delhi, in a place called Agra. And mm, the Taj Mahal is made of white marble. But because of acid rain, you might have learned it, uh, it's turning yellowish and they're trying to, you know, um, touch it up and make it better looking, you know. So, the rock can get eaten away by the acids. So acid rain can damage the rocks. Even though it's metamorphic, it's a tough rock, but it's made of calcium carbonate, so acids can eat away, okay? So that's um, uh, marble. The second rock that we are learning is slate. And slate is coming from a sedimentary rock called shale, shale. Remember shale is made of mud and uh, maybe a little bit of silt and sand and all that, but mainly mud, clay. So clay particles, that's why you don't see any uh, lay, any kind of dots or anything. It's just that fine particles that has become compressed, it turns into shale. And then, then when shale gets cooked under heat or under pressure, it changes into slate. So slate is that black rock. It doesn't look so beautiful, but it can be used as countertops, flooring, uh, pavements, uh, things like that, even tombstones. That tombstone is made of limestone, sorry, the uh, slate. And uh, very commonly in, in the UK and in some other places, uh, it's used as roofing tiles. The good thing about slate is you can cut it into thin slices. It's almost like a thin layer, you know, um, you want it like, you know, whatever thickness you want, you can. For example, I have this piece here, very thin layer. So you can just uh, cut it into thin layers and use it as 
uh, roofing material like you see on the roof over here so it has many uses if you want it to be a little thicker you can put it on the floor uh, wherever it's you know it has to be uh, stronger uh, i've got a couple of you guys from abu dhabi and so this is something where a place where you go and worship isn't it i love this place i've been here about four or five times the mosque the grand mosque um, for, for those who are in from qatar yeah you should come here and visit the mosque the grand mosque so sheikh zayed mosque you can see the flooring is uh, got these pictures of flowers interestingly those flowers are all different different rocks um it could be marble it could be granite it could be you know different rocks different colored rocks and these are all natural colors they're not artificially dyed or colored they are found naturally and they're brought here and they put it into the white marble so it looks like that you know so this is again how beautiful um, the, the Sheikh, Sheikh Zayed Mosque looks like. And it's amazing that they've made it into the white marble. You see, this, this could be green granite. This could be gray, red granite. I'm not sure what exactly the rock are, the blue one. It's amazing, isn't it? How they have made it uh, beautiful. So this is, again, how rocks can be used. Okay, right. So here we have a comparison. You'll see this table in your notes. Um, Igneous rocks are made from liquid magma, sedimentary from rock fragments or pieces of sediments, and metamorphic are made from existing rocks, pre-existing rocks. It could be sedimentary or igneous or whatever. And the formation method and uh, what, what is the difference there? Here, uh, the crystals in sedimentary rocks usually are absent. You may have the crystalline rocks as well, like rock salt, but generally absent. Mineral crystals are present in metamorphic and in igneous. Uh, no fossils in igneous and metamorphic, but fossils are present in sedimentary. Maybe present. I can't say always. 